were asking how you get all the aluminum stuff to look so good. One, depends on what it is, how big it is. I put it in the tumbler, then a little bit of scotch spray and uh, some SOS, and usually that gets it done. and an engine. She looks fast already, I think. I like it, I like it. I'm starting to build up race bikes, getting ready for World Supercross. Uh, I've obviously already, you guys seen the video of practice bikes. Obviously you can see, you know, like we had to, we got a brand new frame, they come black, so we powder coat it orange, drop an engine in, Ben does his thing. Everything's about tolerances, right? Like just, you know, we put tie where we can use tie, um, you know, grease everything. Everything gets torqued to a certain thing. So then basically when I go from bike to bike, um, everything, you're trying to minimize all the, the differences that, that can happen. Um, obviously when these things are built, they're built by robots and, and you know, humans in some cases, human error, meaning that you know they could be half a millimeter up here, which then throws it out a millimeter and a half somewhere else. So you're just you're just minimizing all those things. Um, you know, it's at least my experience over the 20 plus years of doing this. For good or bad, there's gonna be guaranteed to be two rounds with a potential third. So that complicates it a little bit because the crate will leave likely before we know that that third round is gonna happen or not. So right now, obviously one complete race bike. Um, the two bikes I just picked up, we will uh, dismantle, basically pull one apart, and literally that whole bike in parts will go into the crate. Because then you know you have at least one part uh, of, of a working motorcycle. Um, Obviously we don't take the stock exhaust and handlebars, clamps, things like that, suspension. Um, but the, the, the majority of it will probably take a spare, you know, we'll take an engine, subframe, you know, all the plastics, radiators, uh, linkage bolts, you know, like bolts for the engines and all that kind of stuff. So you try to predict what can happen um, and you try to have your basis covered that you don't get you caught in a situation where you don't have the parts so that's probably the most challenging part about it all. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah. We out. We out. To do Starting out. tomorrow. To do that. Four hours later, out. and we're leaving. To do out. Out. To do out. To do out. You're out. basically put a swing arm, plastic, motor, wire harness, all the little stuff in the crate, and that'll be our spare parts for, uh, that we hopefully don't have to use.
world supercross. Not as bad. Obviously Mountain, you know, keeping Mountain as our my title sponsor. Um, you know, KTM helping out a little bit. And then a uh, long, long, long time. Been working with Booth Mobile and Peter Addison uh, since 2002, end of 2001. A couple of decades old relationship and busting it out. Front Fender, obviously, MDK is the official team I'm on. Probably something that, that I'm quite excited in a new relationship is the SKDA, uh, a company out of Australia doing some really fun uh, creative designs. I feel like they're, I would call them market, market leaders right now. They're crushing it. That little bag of tricks right there is probably one of the most exciting things because, I mean, it just completes the bike. Makes it, makes it look cool and makes it yours. You know, got your name, your number, and all your sponsors, people supporting you on it. So we'll, we'll reveal that here soon. Do you like doing stickers? Yeah, stickers aren't bad. The worst is if you have to reuse plastic and peel the old ones up. What is your strategy for it? Peel the whole thing and stick it on there. <laughs> I usually try to line up like one of the couple of the corners and then just work it from the middle to the outside. Do you use any heat or anything? Uh, yeah. I don't heat them before, I'll just heat them all after and kind of melt them on there so they stick. Crazy how much just one sticker could make a bike look so I know, it looks, looks like a race bike now, right? I shouldn't, I shouldn't use the words come up with design because it's not like I design it, um, but I influence and try to give direction or, you know, work with them. Hey, move this, add this color. What does this look like? What does that look like? But at the end of the day, they're the ones, you know, that have to come up with it and change it and interpretate what, what I'm mumbling, jumbling on about, <laughs> whether it's by text or email uh, over the phone. But uh, yeah, this project was a fun one, so quite quite exciting and it's it kind of like it feels pretty fresh it's a little bit you know it's way bit away from a look that we've had for a couple of years so it's fun
always like getting race bikes. Two years not having a race bike. It looks cool. I love my new look too. Yeah. And she's sexy. Ellie's gonna be so offended. No, I just love it. I think it's awesome. I love some of the things we changed up. I think uh, SKDA crushed it on the look. And I think it, it's a little different than like my MDK teammates, but for the most part, I think that it also flows and looks not terribly different from them. So uh, yeah, we have, we have different people to keep happy. So turned out good. I'm stoked, can't wait to ride it. Just taking the shock off and putting a strut on just for shipping because we're going to ship suspension to the race. So I'm just swapping that out real quick and then load it up. It's probably my last race bike, so I've heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it is, it's the best one, I think. It's the coolest one. One more, one last ride. Yeah, one more. Maybe a few. It's not one last ride anymore. We're done that. I took that box. <laughs> I feel like if I retire, I get old. Two years was enough. Coming back. American? Huh? American? I don't know. We'll see. I'd like to. I got pressure from Mama Bear. Mama Bear says I have to score, what is it, 20? 25 points? 25 points to keep my number? Oh, you can get 25 points. Yeah, no. I'd have to do multiple races, but. It'd be cool to see you out there and beat those guys. I mean, they're done that. I don't need to claim anything of these days. Yeah. It's, it would not be motivated by coming back and beating a particular person or individuals. It would be me wanting to come and race and have some fun. Hello. Hi. Check have you guys out. missed me? Check her out. Oh my god, I miss you. Isn't she sexy? It's actually a male, but... <laughs> male? I think so. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Girl. I don't know. It just sounds right. Big girl. That looks really nice. No, it looks good. Mm-hmm. She fancy. Oh, Ben, it might be my last race bike, so it's the best one yet. <laughs> oh, you would be comfy. It's actually kind of disturbing. Why are you in here? I was just testing it out. It's for a bike. Look how comfortable it is. No, I mean, it's really well made. It's actually really nice. This is how I picture a... Uh, Dude, I can college, if I bring college uh, to me. If I bring my get jacket, up. Back it up. You're, you're hindering progress. Yeah. <laughs> no, in the middle of the thing. So pull it that way. 